Hey guys, welcome to Closet Confections TV. I'm your host Kendra and I'm so glad that you guys are here today. I really am. Thank you guys for just following me on this YouTube journey. I made a commitment earlier this year to post more frequently on YouTube and you guys are definitely what keeps me going. So be sure to subscribe and rate good or bad. I know I always say if you want to give me a thumbs down, go to some other channels, but really let me know how I'm doing because it's been a little bit of time and so your feedback means a lot. So if there are certain videos you want to see, certain tips that you guys have, um, let me know. I'm definitely down for that. So <laughs> without further ado, I actually wanted to do this video as a follow-up to a recent video I did on style hacks, tips for making any outfit look expensive. So if you recall that video, and if you haven't, be sure to check it out. But in any case, in that video, I mentioned a style hack, which was to have a nice handbag. So I am all about designer goods, you know, give me the Prada, the Chloe, the Chanel, the Hermes, all of that. I love it. But, you know, my pocketbook doesn't love it. <laughs> At least not yet. So I'm very sensitive to that fact. So I try to show a mix of high and low because... Honestly, that's the way that I shop. I My model is, you know, why spend a bunch of money if you don't have to? So I wanted to just follow up on that and just talk about handbags that I have. So I'll be honest, like handbags for me, um, they are important, but you know, some people are like obsessed with handbags. That's not me. I have a small collection that I've collected, you know, put together over the years. But I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites that are under $200. And I would say that's probably about 85 to 90% of my collection. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first little guy is this cute coach bag that I got. I think I got this over the summer or maybe sometime in the spring. And I love this because it's a small crossbody, so it's hands-free, but it holds a lot of stuff. So in any case, Coach was something that I kind of strayed away from, but now I'm coming back to the brand and I really enjoy them a lot. And this was like maybe $125 or something like that. So all in all, given how often I use this bag, this has definitely, definitely been a good purchase. And it also adds just a nice pop of color, um, but not, you know, not too, too much to an outfit. So yeah, I like this one. The next two bags I'm gonna show you, they're both by Cambridge Satchel, and I would say this is a brand that I absolutely love. I'm actually planning to get probably at least one or two more Cambridge Satchels, and I will show you the two that I have. So my very first Cambridge Satchel purchase was this tote bag. And you can see it here. So this is like a pretty heavy duty, um, tote and I say heavy duty in that it's durable so I put everything in here I put my my huge laptop in here I can put a pair of shoes in here I can keep my camera in here I put a tripod in this baby uh, this is my everyday like workhorse bag and I've been using this for about two years now and the leather is still good it's very sturdy the only complaint that I would have about it is that it doesn't have any lining or pockets on the inside. So the pocket is just, um, you can see here, it's sort of kind of beat up on the inside. It doesn't really affect the performance of the bag. Um, but what I do use is a purse organizer. So I just keep, because I like to change my handbags out every day to match my outfit. So I keep a purse organizer so everything is just stuff in there and I just pop that in and out of the bag. And this one is great. It's very comfortable to carry on your shoulders. Like I said, I put I put this one through its paces. Definitely, definitely. I'm not delicate <laughs> with this bag at all. And it's held up. All the stitching is still intact. And yeah, this is the East West Tote. It also comes in a North South version. So it's like skinnier, but taller. Um, I definitely like the, the East West Tote better. And yeah, if this comes in more colors, I will probably be getting another. And my second Cambridge satchel bag, this one I got maybe about a year ago. And this is the classic shape that they're known for. So I believe this is either the 13 or the 14 inch satchel. So this one is just big enough to fit my laptop. So I think I went with the 14 because I think I have a 14 inch laptop. I have to put it in kind of diagonally, but this one I like a lot again. 
it's a crossbody bag so I like this when I'm going hands-free and I just need to like run around the, the city but I still need to have my laptop with me if I squeeze I can maybe get my camera in there but it, I won't lie it's a tight fit I have a DSLR camera and it's a little bit on the, the larger side but this one is great because it does have that front pocket so this is where I keep like my my metro card and my keys things my cell phone things I need easy access to and again this is just held up beautifully so the inside of the Cambridge satchel bag is just all leather there's no lining or anything like that but like I said I will definitely I can definitely see at least one or two more of these in my future the colors are just so fun and I will tell you a tip about Cambridge satchel they have amazing sales so never get one full price because I guarantee you it will go on sale all right so the next bag I want to tell you about so this one it was under $200 for me but I was able to get it because it was on sale and then there was another sale on top of the sale plus I had some store credit so this one probably for if you didn't have the all the things that I got would be about maybe $700 but this is a Philip Lim and it's called the 31 hour tote because you can fit 31 hours of stuff in this tote so this bag I get tons of compliments on it so I got it comes in different colorways I like this one because you can flip it and if I can wear it this way with black with a little tan flap or I can flip it around and wear it this way where it's tan with the little black flap so I like that that different kind of colorway kind of struck my eye the only thing I will say about this bag negatively is that it's hard to get actually there's two negatives about this bag um, but I still do like it um, one it's hard to get in and out of so as you can see you have to like zip it all the way around in order to get inside of it so it's not it's not super convenient when I do use it on a regular basis I get I get used to it I've also seen other people who kind of just only unzip it halfway and then I've seen people kind of fold it and wear it like this fold it and wear it like this so that it so that it's easier to get in, in and out of um, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of how that actually looks <laughs> but you know if that's if your functionality is what you're after then this could be a good one the second thing that I don't like about it is that these silver zipper pulls I'll show you in a moment these silver zipper pulls I don't know if you can see but they got tarnished so that that was sort of a bummer but otherwise this is a good bag you can hold a lot of stuff in this so this might be a good travel bag like if, if you need a carry-on or something like that um, like I said it is kind of hard to get in and out of until you get used to it but this is definitely like a sturdy workhorse Philip Lim makes great bags this leather is very soft um, I've had this bag for a couple of years now and it's held up pretty well so yeah this is a bag that I definitely like the next bag I I carry this bag so many times um, this is my tote so between this one and that black Cambridge satchel that I showed you these are like my two work bags so this is a brand called Lancel and they actually do not carry it in the US from what I've seen it's a French brand and I actually got to go to the Lancel store when I went to Paris a couple of years back and they make beautiful bags so this particular bag um, is a limited edition and I got it in the States. I got it actually at Century 21 and I don't even think a lot of people really know much about this brand over here, but they make great, great bags. And this one I like because it has, the, the interior is fully lined and it has so many pockets, so many pockets. <laughs> so it has a pocket for, it has a pen holder so I can keep my lucky pen in here and I don't have to worry about using it. It has a pocket with, actually, even better what I'll show you. So not only does it have pockets, but the pocket actually comes out, so I can show it to you. So it has here, you have slots for your credit card, so this kind of like folds up like, almost like a wallet, kind of, not quite. <laughs> it has a slot, a zippered slot for your coins and whatnot, um, another slot here for whatever you want to put in there, so yeah great for organization it also has pockets on the other side as well that aren't removable but yeah this bag 
I would say this is probably a really great purchase. So I also have the Louis Vuitton Neverfull bag, and it's not included in this roundup because it was not less than $200. And honestly, I would say that this one, um, like I said, I got it on sale at Century 21, so it was like maybe 150 or something like that. But this bag, I love so much more than my Neverfull. I find this is just way more durable. Also, this one is actually leather and not just a coated canvas like the Neverfull. And yeah, it's just an awesome bag. So Lancel, if you're able to find it online or if you're lucky enough to go to Paris and you can shop the store, definitely, definitely recommend. All right, so the next brand, also taking it back old school, another brand that was popular when I was in high school was Dooney and Burke. Yes. So I feel like Dooney and Burke is another brand where they kind of lost their way for a minute. Um, for <laughs> More than a minute if i'm honest i don't know what they were doing there for a while but in any case i got this bag this is called the happy bag and it comes in so many happy colors <laughs> but this red one i've had for years and this i take this on vacation with me all the time so again it's a small one so but i like that it's a crossbody. so again you can tell i like hands-free mode as much as possible and it's just a great bag so it has good organization on the inside there's like a big pocket um, and it has this flap and this design I feel like like I said I've had this for years and I feel like it's just a classic design that won't ever get dated I can always wear it and again how can you resist this gorgeous red color I mean look at that <laughs> all right so the next bag I'm going to show you guys is actually a surprise um, Aldo so I usually don't really even go to Aldo I think I went there just because I needed just to I had to kill some time and I found this purse. So you might have seen this on a recent blog post of mine, but it's this nice furry purse. So in general, I wouldn't really recommend Aldo or like Steve Madden for purses, but this one caught my eye for a couple of reasons. So not only is it a purse, it has like a little um, pocket and I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have a package at UPS I need to pick up. <laughs> uh, in any case, it has a pocket, but also too, it doubles as a hand warmer. So yes, see that? <laughs> it doubles as a hand warmer. I didn't even notice that when I first bought it. It wasn't until I got home and put it on. But yeah, I just thought that was so cool. So this one, I feel the gold strap instantly makes it you know, elegant so I can wear it both casually and I've also worn it like as an evening bag, like as a little clutch. And this is just a really fun piece. And you can tell I just like to play with it. <laughs> So you know Ralph Lauren has so many different lines. They have Denim and Supply, they used to have Rugby, they got Polo, they got Purple Label, Blue Label, Black Label. So Lauren is the lower price line and I have got to say, I don't know if they got a new designer or a new like director or whatnot, but they have really, really stepped it up in terms of craftsmanship, quality, and the designs. I have got two of these bags so my first bucket bag I think it's called the Dryden tote or Dryden and this bucket bag I got I would say at least a year ago maybe more like two years ago at this point and it's just like a regular bucket bag but what I like about <laughs> but what I like about Ralph Lauren Lauren totes is like the minimal branding you see here Michael Kors take note Again, unless it's like Chanel or something, and even men, I don't really want to go displaying logos all over my clothing or all over my bag. So I like this little minimal branding that they have going on here. This tote can fit so much. So these bucket bags, I can put my camera in here. I can't put my laptop in this one, but that's not really what this is for. But this is like my go-to weekend bag. I can fit everything in here. And I liked it so much that I got it in this beautiful caramel color. So they updated the design this year and it's even better. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the brand Mansour Gabriel. So their bucket bags, you know, the black one with the red interior, or they have all these other colors. Those bags were like hot. So I actually had purchased a Mansour Gabriel bag and I got it and I paid like maybe six or seven hundred dollars for it got it in the mail looked at it put it on and i was like you know what this is not worth it <laughs> so i sent the bag back it was just very stiff and just overpriced it was a nice bag but not at that price point fast forward a year later and ralph lauren came out with these totes and like i said they updated the design so the interior 
comes in a nice contrast color. The black one now has the red interior, which makes it very similar to the Mansur Gabriel tote. And it also comes with this little pouch on the inside now, so a little coin purse that you can separate out if you like to. It also has an interior pocket. I might, they, they also come in suede as well, and I might go back and get another color. I might get the updated black one with the red interior because I like it. And it also has two straps, so you can either carry it on the long strap crossbody, or you can also carry it as a shoulder bag. So yes, Ralph Lauren, Lauren line, definitely has some great bags. And I will say anytime I go to Macy's or even on the Ralph Lauren site, they always go on sale. So between Ralph Lauren, Lauren bags, and uh, Cambridge Satchel and their sales, I think I'm pretty much covered. Those are gonna be like my go-to bags uh, for the next few years. So I hope that this video was helpful and I can just show you guys how you can get nice quality bags to update your look without spending a lot of money. So yeah, I know definitely I get the allure and the attraction of like, you know, those really big designer it bags. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you don't need all of that or sometimes you don't want all of that or sometimes you can't afford all of that. So hopefully this was helpful. So again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please do rate and subscribe and tell me what you thought about this video. And until next time, take care.